What up, Dota? It's your boy, Victor Moon. Shout out to Thomas Jerome Harris Jr. He's bringing some fire right now. And I want to read a comment that uh, someone referred me to that was written by Mr. Madness himself. But before I do that, a lot of people have been asking me about the No DQ Nights. I want to give it to you straight from the horse's mouth. So that way there's no confusion. Me being a father and my daughter getting older it has required more of my time. So it gets sometimes a little hard for me to balance the YouTube thing. And sometimes I kind of put social media on the back burner to concentrate on family. Now, I know some of you, you know, live and die for YouTube, but I'm sorry, y'all. I'm just not one of them. Hope I didn't offend nobody. But let's get on to this hot comment that was written by Mr. Madness. This comment reads, it says, I have five kids and I am only in the life of one. Now what? Does that invalidate any of my videos? Let me, let me stop right there. The one thing that it invalidates is the message that you speak on about black women. With you having five children and only being in the life of one, if I was to make Mr. Madness into a black whore or a BT-1000, you would be no different than the black women you talk about. Because if that black woman had five children and was only in the life of one, Mr. Madness would do a five video series on that black woman. So does it invalidate your videos? Yes, it does. A lot of them. Because when you write to someone and tell them and you openly admit that you have five children and I'm only in the life of one and then the next line you write is now what? Does that invalidate any of my videos? Yes, it does. But let me keep reading. It says, why do you care if I take care of any of my kids? Because remember, y'all are going out of y'all's way to make sure I can't pay child support so I can go back to jail. Oh, and if taking care of my five kids meant so much, why did you only ask about it after I became big on YouTube? Shouldn't you guys have cared about it before? Oh, am I the only guy who doesn't take care of his kids? Okay. To answer your question, why did y'all ask about it after I became big on YouTube? So where was Mr. Madness before YouTube and where he was reachable, where people knew about his five kids that he didn't take care of? Because trust me, maybe if they'd have knew about it then, they would have brought it up then. But I don't think that was the first video you put up. I don't think that was the first thing you mentioned, like, hey, I'm Mr. Madness, I have five children, I'm only in the life of one. Let's talk about how these black women don't take care of their children and kick the fathers out for a fatherless America. I don't ever remember seeing you make a video like that. And to answer the last question, am I the only guy who doesn't take care of his kids? No, you're not. But you are the only guy that doesn't take care of his kids but wants people to donate to a movie called The Fatherless America. You are the only guy that has done that. I have to give credit to Mr. Madness on that one. He is the only guy that openly admits that he abandons five of his kids, takes care of one, that brings the count up to six. I'm just saying. Kinda looks a little, you know, funny. But hey, the Fatherless America, I can't wait to, 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 to see this movie. Can't y'all, y'all can't wait, can you? Because in this movie, once again, we should see a whole bunch of fathers like Mr. Madness having sex with random women, all these women getting pregnant, and then he turns around and abandons them. But wait, but wait, the light at the end of the tunnel. He chooses one of his children. But the one, ch the one child that he chooses, he only talks to through Skype and Facebook. Let's not forget about T-Mobile. You know, going to see that child. You know, we should see excerpts, you know, while he's abandoning his children, while, while, you know, while he's, you know, leaving these women with the responsibility of these children all on their own. You know, we should see like little clips in the middle of him going to Cliff's house. While he's, you know, letting his children starve, he's going to make YouTube videos <laughs> at Cliff's house, giving Cliff $1,000. And then putting up videos talking about, look, y'all, I just gave Cliff $1,000. Doesn't that make me a great guy? Oh, I can't wait to see this movie. I can't wait. It's your boy, Victor Moan. No DQ night is coming. Be on the lookout for season two.
of No DQ Night. Man, oh man. This shit just gets more and more hilarious. I mean, I love YouTube. YouTube is entertaining. Mr. Madness, you're, you're at the top of my list as far as entertainment. You, 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 you are a riot. You are. A man that sits up here that has five kids but wants to talk about another man that has seven and eight kids and talking about how that man, you know, is a bum and this, that, the other, and, and that, and look, for you to even come out and say the, the phrase L dot bum, I want you to think about something. I want you two to think about something. Which is worse? A man in a community, right, in a poor community that doesn't have jobs, doesn't have access to uh, 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 a lot of money, or a man with five kids that has the money to take care of him, that has the stable uh, home and everything, that can take care of all five of those kids if he wanted to, but he refuses to. Which one is worse? Which one is worse? Seriously. The guy that doesn't have the real big income that has the four or five kids, or the guy that's making six and seven figures a year and doesn't take care of his four and five kids, which ones is worse? Now to give y'all my vote, I would point at the motherfucker with the money. Because it's one thing if you're trying to take care of your children and your income cannot match the level to take care of all of your children. It's a whole nother story when you got the money and these children are out here needing you and you refuse to. Not only do you refuse to, you promote that on social media. And this is the same motherfucker that calls himself hooking up with Russell Simmons. Are you serious? You better check that cell phone number, homie. Russell Simmons that gave you to his secretary. That ain't his real number. <laughs> Woo! Man, oh man. This shit just gonna keep heating up. It's your boy, Victor Moan. Deuces.